Now if you want to go back and edit a chord, all you have to do is go inside that MIDI region, change the notes around, and it will affect every device in the chain list. Using instrument racks will level up your music production in three important ways. It will help you stay more organized. It helps keep your tracks more flexible and easier to edit. And number three, it will make your mixer happy. And maybe that mixer is you, so be happy. I love using layered sounds, making big stacks of MIDI tracks, but you will quickly run into some very irritating problems if you produce this way. Problem number one, now you have eight tracks that are all named the same thing, are the same color, and every region looks exactly the same. And when you're trying to go through and edit the sound design, it just becomes a mess. So that's annoying. Number two, oh, you want, you want to, to change, change a chord, chord, you say? Good luck. Now you have to go through every single region and every single track and change that suspended chord to a diminished chord. We'll see you in 10 years. And if you forget just one note in one MIDI region, not even realize it until that song has been released. Not that that's ever happened to me or anything. Number three, your mixer will absolutely love receiving 127 tracks and 11 of those those tracks say it's synth chords. Again, that mixer may be you, so why are you hurting yourself? Using instrument racks instead of stacked MIDI tracks will solve all of these issues and will make you a better producer. So let me show you how to do it. First, add a device to a new track. Then click on the device header and use the key command, command G. This creates an instrument rack around the device that we just added. Now on the left side of the instrument rack, we can see the device title bar with some new buttons. The button on on the bottom says show chain list. Click that. Now we can see the chain list. Drag another MIDI instrument into the blank area below the first chain. Now we have two parallel chains. These are just like creating MIDI layers, but they are grouped together in one instrument rack and one track list in the arrangement or the session view. Everything that you can do with layers of different MIDI tracks can be done inside an instrument rack. You've got volume and pan in the chain list. You can rename the chains with command R and you can add audio or MIDI effects. You can edit each parallel chain individually by selecting it in the chain list. This brings up the signal chain and you can see all of its devices laid out horizontally. The crazy thing too is that you can place instrument racks inside your instrument rack. So it's like layers upon layers of complexity, but all inside one nice tidy instrument rack. The most magical thing about this is now you've got just one MIDI region triggering all these different layers of instruments. So now if you want to go back and edit a chord, all you have to do is go inside that MIDI region, change the notes around, and it will affect every device in the chain list. And when it comes time to mix, now you've just got one track exported with the submix of synth lead or neo soul chords or whatever it is. Tell your mixer to send all thank you notes to Dylan at Oscillator. Later.com. Now there's much more that you can do with the instrument racks, including key and velocity zones, creating macros and macro variations. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a video diving deeper into these advanced options. Am I still streaming? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any value from it, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. See you next time. Thanks.